Hey, what's up, guys? Castle Blast back with another Queen Pop Laloon, and we're looking at a 9.5. Uh, but he's got exposed down and not even a fully upgraded queen. I'll tell you what, uh, honest truth. So I've been pretty slammed with school here, and I didn't even notice this uh base had a fail on it until I was about to sit down and do a few recordings. Um, and I wanted to touch over the fail. So you can see Blast down there, he got the three star, and the first guy purely ran out of time and sometimes that's where it comes down to where you're going to pull from and how you're going to get the cc um so when i'm scouting a base guys you look at where the cc line is sitting uh you're gonna see it's pretty much sitting there and the blowers are facing out both directions well these air defense are spread kind of far apart and these are touching um so my first thought is how can i turn these whiz towers onto Onto air defenses, um, and how can I not get in the way of the most blowers? Well, these whiz towers are both kind of touching these air defenses, um, and you see the defense uh, CC rings kind of out of there. So I didn't even notice this guy failed or how this base was set up, but all these three things, three things touch these two air defenses overlapping. Um, the whiz towers both kind of locking on to these air defenses made me pick this air defense um, because she is sitting in this corner. I know I can wrap around this side of the base and then kind of trap her between these two air defenses and get a basic pull of like a loon here, a loon here. And that will cross the radius once they take out that archer tower in that mortar. So let's take a look at it real quick. So like I said, I noticed one of our teammates failed on this and I was just reviewing it and I thought it was a good point to touch on, but it's basically where he picked to enter the base. So while I was reading it, you know, I showed you kind of what I look at, where the whiz towers are pointing, where the blowers are pointing, the spot I can choose to pull the CC and that's not going to cause me a lot of trouble. He picked down south. Now, my first time looking at this was a while ago. Um, probably would have helped if I had watched this before I launched my attack. Uh, but like I said, I've been very wrapped up, guys. Um, and I'm trying to get back on track with some uploads for you. But you'll see right there, that pull, not sending the right amount of loons, that cost him some time. He's down to 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and now he's got to start pulling that CC. So it is a baby drag and some, some minis there. He gets them in the corner, and he's just using his queen along. I, I do have a video coming up of queen-only attacks just to show you guys they fully work. Uh, you don't need your king at all. But now he comes with his hounds all up top. Here's another slightly mistake. Now, bring a hound over here, guys. That's pretty much going to turn all the defenses you want and then slowly bring a hound here now if you know this air defense is covering there you might have to block it up but get your loons in at the same time too if your hounds are entering at the same time your loons need to be entering at the same time you gotta clear those defenses out because look how deep his hounds are and he just got those loons in there that's gonna spell quick death for his hounds um and now he throws his rage up top. I think he's worried about getting those loons in quickly. But that leads you to another point. The rage needs to be over the queen. So even though you made that mistake, you're going to get one air defense down. Don't panic, guys. Follow your steps and set that rage deep. Just realize it is going to work out. Because now he's still got four hounds alive. But there's no rage for the pups. So he's going to have to throw in that haste. That's not the same effect, and he's still got three hounds alive. So your hounds do eat a lot of damage, guys. You got to take out that level 23 queen, um, which it eventually happens for him. But by that time, he's lost all his spells. He still has three whiz towers left, and he has a ton, ton of the base left. So there he goes. Now he's got two loons and a bunch of pups, and he simply runs out of time. It's about an 83% hit. So let's take a look at it uh, from me hitting it, and we'll see what the difference is. So like I said, simply me reading this base um, is I know I'm going to pull from here, and then I'm going to wrap around this queen right there and take her up. I literally had no idea what this base had in store. Um, I'm pretty sure I hit this after two seconds of looking at it. Um, 
but it worked out, worked out wonderfully. But you got to do these simple reads. Realize, all right, so I sent two loons because I need to tank and kill that archer tower and one loon at the mortar. That should do it. You saw my quake pretty much covered up a lot of stuff. Uh, and then I, I got those, those troops out with no problem. Still a loon left. Probably went one loon too many. Now I pull the CC up at the top. Go ahead and distract it and lay my queen in. All I needed was a queen. Like I said, guys, these are no king needed. And you'll see I did this attack in about two minutes. So here comes my troops on the wrap, like I'm talking about. Um, I brought one hound in to lead the way. My loons in. I got these loons going. I meant to lay a hound over here. I don't know why that didn't happen. Um, some things are sloppy. But now these hounds are tanking, and you'll see that rage is set kind of deep. Now that that part of the base is working, I know it's going to be taken care of. I finally come in with my next two hounds and my next set of loons. You can see the difference. My loons aren't in the area of the rage when I set it down. You'll see those were kind of deep, kind of deep. Once your loons hit the rage, they're also going to have it coming out. So setting your rage a little bit deeper and where the queen is sitting, your loons are going to hit it, destroy everything and going to be boosted out of that rage ring onto your next set of defenses so trust me guys this works the pups are going to get the rage effect they're going to eat that queen up and your loons are just going to take care of business it does help with timing <coughs> excuse me so that that queen moves over keeps following the hound she gets instantly eat up you can see i threw that haste in to finish up the base and that's it guys one one uh, tower left, Wizbo, or Expo that's down, and that's the difference right there. I got pups all over the base from blowing up. I got my king just simply cleaning sets of loons. I could have saved a couple extra loons. You know, I probably went loon heavy on the bottom. Um, I didn't notice kind of how those defenses were spaced out. You know, I did a quick look at the queen. The air defenses decided where I was going to pull. Um and that's what you kind of need for your scout. So sometimes overanalyzing a base and being afraid of messing up will bite you in the end. So just get those steps correctly. Trust me, you'll start seeing success. And man, look at all those pups, loons, just everything left eating up the base. So I hope you guys like it. Press like and subscribe. Ask me questions if you've got them. I promise I'll get quicker on the replies, guys. Uh, it's been a fun experience. Thank you so much for sticking with me while I finish medic school. This is the last week. So we got a lot of good things in store, and I'll see you guys soon.